Robert Fritz's Structural Consulting Channel. What this is. We present full structural consultations, ones that change people's lives. The idea behind this channel is for you to witness a completely different understanding of the human condition. Here are a few things to know. Structural consulting is not therapy. It is an exploration of the underlying structures in the client's life that produces predictable patterns of behavior. What is structure? Structure is a combination of elements that impact each other. In these sessions, the client's structures are a combination of what they want to create, how reality actually is, and the various concepts that they have. The concepts clients have are usually hidden from them, but these concepts have impact in influencing the client's life patterns. A change of structure will cause a change of the client's patterns. The principle. The underlying structure of anything will determine its behavior. The process involves seeing the actual patterns in the client's life, which leads to a better understanding of the client's underlying structure. The sessions last between one or two hours. We suggest that if you do decide to watch them, do so when you have time to see the entire process. If you want to see more structure consultations, subscribe to the channel. And here is the session. Okay, hi, what would you like to talk about? Uh, I guess, uh, you know, I've seen some of your um, structural consultations um, and, you know, just uh, making sure I don't have any um, underlying structures, I guess, that are interfering. <laughs> so this is a problem solving search and destroy mission <laughs> against any dysfunction you may have. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Why did you think you have some? Um, good question. I, I guess, I guess, because I'm not doing uh, what I love, you know, what I've dreamed of of, of doing. I guess right now, mm. um, and I guess. Because I've put a lot of energy into it. Um, into doing what you want to do? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, like, I, I mean, I, I've, I've done... What is it that you want to do? Uh, I guess oh, I'd love to be, yeah, a full-time musician, really. Mm -hmm. So, um, And, you know, I, I, it's not like I'm not doing music. Um, like, I, I, I still, I get to do it um when i can fund it myself and 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 uh you know but i'm, I'm not a full-time musician at yeah, all what what kind of music do you do and what do you play uh so i do well you know i, I record music and the genre is well i call it rock and roll i guess but uh it's the, all, all the bands that I love from, you know, mm -hmm. like the Beatles and Rolling Stones, but I try and give it a bit more of a modern twist. Mm -hmm. um, do you do the I, vocals I, and, the, and the music? I do the singing, yep. Mm -hmm. um, what about the music? I, I write the music, but then I, I've been getting uh, musicians who are better than me to, to I really do it, yeah come in and play the, the parts right. yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so um and you know it's what do you do the rest of the time when i'm not doing music yeah uh i do help run some accommodation because i live in a, a tourist town mm -hmm. um and i also do uber driving Mm -hmm. uh because it's very flexible uh work and um or you know just a bit of invest investing as well i guess yeah but uh probably uber driving and the accommodation takes up most of my time yeah 
Yeah. What kind of accommodations? Uh, well, I'm I'm sitting in in it at the moment because um, there's no guests here today. Um, but it's just two. It's just some villas uh, in a beach town, mm -hmm. uh, a surf town, you know, in in Australia. So, mm. are you a surfer? Uh, I love bodyboarding. So, mm -hmm. uh, with, with flippers, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I love the ocean. So you think because you don't know how to do create a career in music that there's something wrong? <laughs> no, no, I, I, I don't think no. Um, <laughs> Just to yeah. say that's kind of what you implied. So that's why I'm checking it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I hope I'm a, <laughs> I'm the, <laughs> you know, I'm a good candidate for you, but you know, um, I, in, you know, I'm probably different to some of the uh, the videos that I've I've watched of you, um, with structure. Well, all of them are different, so you don't have to be any, you don't have to be like anybody else. Yeah, yeah. So that's not a requirement. There, what we're gonna do is just think through what's going on in your life and see the difference between reality and various concepts you may have and also your in aspirations and so on. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, so it sounds like you have a nice, um, the with the accommodations and, and the, driving yep in a in a resort place do you not like that or oh no I, I i love it yeah mm -hmm. um i i've i've got a a great lifestyle yeah um mm -hmm. and, and and very lucky to have done uh music as well on the side you know like not everyone gets to do, to do that either so well when you I'm say not... on the side what you really mean is uh part-time when you can it's not yeah. really on the side because when you do it you do it fully right yeah yeah okay so it's not like you know you're not actually doing it on the side <laughs> <laughs> but it's part of your life yeah 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 mm -hmm. So if we were to describe your life, we'd say, well, um, you live in a resort town, you have a couple of enterprises that are good and you like and, uh, and you love your lifestyle. And in addition to that, you do music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, but I guess, I guess the music thing has just been a lifelong dream. Uh, and I feel, um, I feel it, it's like, it'll always be part of me, but I feel like, uh, it's like slow, it's coming to an end, you know, not, 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 not music forever, but just, uh, the journey that I've been on musically, I feel like it's coming to a bit of an end. At the moment. How is that? How is it coming to an end? Uh, well, I've just finished uh, an album, mm -hmm. uh, 10 songs, and it took a good two to three years and, uh, you know, funding it uh, every, every step of the way by myself mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. just the process, like work, because, you know, uh, like a signed musician would still have challenges, but I feel... Um, everything just took doing it all myself just took two to three times longer. Um, mm -hmm. And like, well, if, before I start another musical project, I'd need a bit of a, definitely need a bit of a rest. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I Is the album the, out yet? Uh, it's, I've done a printing run. So I've, I've been giving it to, you know, friends and people who have helped. You mean you're making so, it as a CD? Yeah, I've done a CD. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind um, of pricey. But, Why are you doing that? Yeah, it is. Um, 
just to give to, to people uh, before I put it on digital stores. So, and I, I think just so it, it felt, you know, I've got one in my bedroom and it just feels like I've completed okay, it. Okay, so this is probably a small run for friends and family kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, so have, like, you also, have you also um, done a digital version of it? Uh, not yet. Like a streaming download version? Of yeah, it? N- not yet. Not yet, but um, okay. it's coming, yeah. Uh, well, that, that's what I, that's the part I find hard. Um, getting, it, getting, getting it out there in a way, yeah. Um, and I guess every artist does, but um, I'm a I'm bit- I'm not sure how, in what ways do you find it hard? Um, <clears throat> obviously not just uploading it onto streaming services, but, um, just the uh, amount of content that's on, that goes online every day. It's, um, you know, I think 40,000 songs go on Spotify every day. Mm. So um, to get uh, people to listen to it, you know, it, I find that, that a challenge, I guess, yeah. Well, it would be, um, unless you were a touring band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. unless the music was um, so different and exceptional and found an audience, mm. it would be um, one among many in the competition for people's yeah. time. Yeah, and that, that's that's exactly right. Um, you know, I love, you know, I absolutely love the music, but I mean, if it's not good enough as well, that, then it's not good enough. But um, well, do you like it? Oh yeah, absolutely. And it's good enough for you. Yeah. Period. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Like here, yeah. you have you have your vision of the music. Yeah. And you're the one it has to satisfy. Yeah. And now maybe other people like it or don't like it or say, well, it's not this or it's not that because it is mm. what it is your music yeah hmm. and, and I, yeah i was very uh very conscious of of that you know it, it had to tick my boxes way before anyone else you know so what, you know, what did you just say it, it what had to like i had to love the music oh yeah uh, before everybody yeah 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 before anybody else you know so yeah I mean, loving enough to create it. Yeah. 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 Well, and it did, it did, uh, in some ways, it went past uh, my vision for how I wanted it to be. Great. You know? So it yeah. came out better than you even thought it would. Yeah. Like, you know, there's still, but then I compare it to like, you know, the greatest of all time. And I can see this production wise, you know, if I had a bigger budget, it could probably sound better. But uh, you know, that's just that's me being a perfectionist, I guess. Yeah. Why? Why do you think that? <laughs> um, why do you, I mean? In other words, why can't it just be its own thing? Why do you have to? Yeah, compare yeah. It that, to other things. Yeah. I guess. Um, well, let me ask you it this way: um, If you had a bigger budget, yeah. would you have changed it? Or would it be just about the same? It'd be, yeah, it wouldn't be big, big differences. No, it'd be just fraction, okay, so, fractionally, fractionally yeah, better. Yeah. You know, forget this though. Okay. <laughs> Please get what you just said. Yeah. The yeah. music came out pretty close to how you really want it. Yeah. And if you had a bigger budget, it might tweak it a little bit here or there, but it's really what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then you compare it to other things which are different from your music. Yeah. Yeah, not so much the the production I do a little a little bit, yeah. Not so much the songs, but just like you know, someone like Adele uh the production sounds state of the art, you know, kind of thing. Um but that's and, her music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What does that have to do with you? Oh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, it's. Uh, now look, think this through, okay? Mm. Yeah. You know, we're we're actually seeing a few little concepts you might have lurking in the background here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that's good. <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, so sorry, uh, what was the... Well, here's what you told me. You told me if you had a bigger budget, you might tweak a few things, but it'd pretty, be pretty, pretty close to how it came out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then it exists as a fact. Yeah. It's a creation. Yeah. Now, what you do with this creation is you measure it against other people's creations as if somehow there was some kind of relationship yeah. But there isn't. Mm. Is there? Well, <clears throat> I guess, like, I know production wise, um, I know I'm happy where it sits uh, production wise compared, compared to some of the other music I, I, I listen to. Um, but I know it's not, I know the productions. It's more uh, indie in a way, I guess. In, uh, it's not, um, and you know, I'm just still, I'm still, pre I'm pretty happy with that, you know. So. Yeah, but why you see what you're doing is you're talking yourself self out of that you're really happy the way it came out. Mm -hmm. And not yeah. only you're doing that, but it actually came out better than you originally thought it would. Yes. Yeah. And now you're criticizing it because it's not. <laughs> some gazillion dollar production you know by by beyonce or something yeah 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 why are you doing yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> i guess um <laughs> yeah it's almost like it gets so good i'm like wow like uh you like it yeah oh, i love it absolutely love it yeah, yeah. okay just stay yeah. with that for a second yeah all right. So it does as a as a um, as music as art. It does what you wanted it to do. Yeah. Mm. And if you had the budget to change it, the the changes would be fairly insignificant because it, what you wouldn't want to do is change the soul of it. Yeah. Mm. yeah but now you're trying to talk yourself not trying to you're talking yourself out of your appreciation of it because it's different from other things that artists are making mm. uh yeah mm. <laughs> um but I, I i mean yeah i i still I still love it, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, as, as I said. Now yeah, look, I mean, we, as we've been talking about that, what do you think? I mean, what's occurring to you? Uh, well, I'm definitely, um, uh, definitely a perfectionist, yeah. Why? Uh, uh, I guess um, I guess I can just see things that can be improved a little bit, and so uh, but I'm yeah. But I'm so happy what? If you were a painter, you'd always be adding more brush strokes and brush strokes and brush strokes. Yeah, yeah. And you never get a painting done. No, well, I and do you that might too. also lose the painting. Yeah, definitely, because there's no delete mm -hmm. button. I, I do painting. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. I want to tell you something I think you might find interesting. When Clint Eastwood um, directs a movie, he wants to read the very first draft of the script. He, do, he doesn't want to read all of the iterations and how they changed it and stuff. And he says he wants to read the first iteration of the script. It does not necessarily, not necessarily what he's going to shoot. 
he's going to shoot the final script. But he wants mm. to read the first script to see what the actual soul of that script is, which often mm. is lost in all of the perfectionizing of it, mm. you know, changing of it and so on. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, no, I, I, there is a part of me that also does like the, you know, I like the flaws as well, you know. Uh, yeah, it's in, in aesthetics, it's called significant roughness. Yeah. And if you get something that's too perf perfect, it really dies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. but what, you, you see what I mean? Now, what I want to know from you mm. is, how you have this idea why do you have this what's this idea you have that perfect is mm. anything worthwhile uh it, it, yeah it doesn't have it's think it through now please yeah um I guess because some of the the music that I love, uh, it does sound close to perfect. Uh, and not, I'm not talking so much uh, What does that even mean? <laughs> well, I guess um, Do you have that for your life, by the way? Yeah, probably. <laughs> that you have to like improve and become per perfect, perfect your life and become. No, perfect. no, not not to, to to a degree, but not not like I'm not a, a obsessed with um, me being perfect. I guess, yeah. Like I don't um, mm. probably in the past, maybe I have, yeah. But definitely not. Um, when did you change your mind? Probably. Probably when I was uh, like a young, maybe like eighteen around that time. I mean, maybe a bit older than that, but like, I think back then, yeah. I did. What caused you to change your mind about becoming better and better and perfect? Yeah. Um, I think I just, I got to a level where I was very comfortable with um, how you were. How I was, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that better than being perfect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, definitely. Well, do you have, do you still have any idea about how you're supposed to improve yourself or grow or? <laughs> um, I do. I, I like learning. Uh, you know, you're not answering my question. Yeah. Do I have? One um, of the ways you, you might think about this is do you compare yourself to other people and what yeah. you should be doing versus what they're doing uh probably a little bit yeah but not not to, not maybe with musicians but not not with like i live a pretty alternative lifestyle as it is you know like not with um You know, every, a, a lot of people I, I don't compare myself to. I didn't say a lot of people. Yeah, but some people I guess I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the people that you compare yourself to, what is mm. it that they do? What's, what is it about them that you admire or think about? Uh, well, or I guess... wish you Or wish you were more like? Yeah, I mean, the full-time musician thing, I guess, yeah, would be one thing that I admire. Well, you compare yourself 
to somebody who's had a different level, a number of choices in their lives. So yeah. they went in a different direction than you do. I mean, mm -hmm. you can certainly admire them, which is different than comparing yourself to them. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because that's the uh, subject matter, is you comparing yourself to people. And then my yeah. question was, what is it about the people you compare yourself to that you wish you were more like or? Yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess. Uh... I guess, you know, at some level, I probably compare myself to people who are professionals in any um, industry, I guess. And why? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. Well, I guess because I'm uh, like a professional in <laughs> uh, like sort semi-professional in a couple of different industries, you know, so. Yeah. No, I look. I want to. I want to know what you think, and you're not quite telling me. And I'm wondering yeah. if you're thinking it through or just getting lost in these questions. Yeah. So you got to do some more work here. Yeah, yeah. I'm really lazy. I don't want to have to do all my work. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, you you know, look. Um, Think about it not abstractly or, or in some general way, but specifically, is there someone who you wish you were more like? Specific real person in life. Yeah. Um, well, I guess, I mean, and this is probably a lot of, well, could be a few people, but I, want, I do. The reason I want you to choose somebody is so we can track it. Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd say probably if you just make it general. How do yeah. you track that? Yeah, probably. Um, you know, my dad uh, has been very successful in his career, I guess. And mm -hmm. um, <laughs> in terms of my success, uh, I, and I, I, I'm um, comfortable. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, the, compared to my success with my dad it's, it's there's quite a gap you know obviously but i'm not like um i'm not trying to re reinvent the wheel there like he's in a, a corporate he's been in a corporate job his whole life kind of thing i'm, I'm not mm -hmm. in that not going down that path but yeah I, I haven't had anywhere near the attained anywhere near the success he is he's had if, if that's a person what does that but, why does that matter uh it, it shouldn't I don't think, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think, probably when I was younger, I was, I was more conscious of that. And um, No, you still have it. You do. You still have it, which is why you brought it up. Yeah. Well, I thought, yeah, he's probably the best candidate of who well, I Well, okay. I mean, you, you love your dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have a good relationship? Yeah. Would he want you to be more like him? Probably. Why? How do you know that? Did he tell you? Um, well, he doesn't. He's got no. Uh, he, he's not really in the music for starters. Um, That's not my question. Yeah. Did he ever tell you, you know, I wish you were more no, like no, me? No, no, no. Go into business no. or what are you doing yeah. there farting around in that town? everybody's having a great time in and you have a great lifestyle yeah. i'd rather have you come in in the corporate world yeah you know and and spend your time in a cubicle <laughs> <laughs> well i i did do, do um you know a day in the office with it with him um did he ever tell you that no but not specifically <laughs> but i i've always felt like well wait a uh, second yeah but no do you think no. he thinks that uh not not now no. When do you think he thought that? Probably when I just finished my uni degree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then he saw the direction you were going, and he was he was three things. He could have been against it, neutral, 
indifferent, or supportive. Which of those three was he? Probably initially neutral. Uh, but over, over time, def yeah, he's been supportive, yeah. Okay. So the reason I wanted to track this is you made up this fantasy that somehow, even though you have a tremendously great life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that somehow you don't measure up to your dad because your dad has a different life and made different choices in his life. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's not. Uh, it's not what. It's not because that it probably is. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's yeah. You you bang on, but like at the same time, I've always I've always been a, a little bit aware of that as well. Look, yeah. I know you know you shouldn't think that, but you do think that. Yeah, I, I think it's. Um, so what's going on is you keep censoring yourself because you know when you hear it, when you hear yourself say it, or when yeah. you think it through and and see that's what you think, you know you shouldn't think that. So you kind of close down on it rather than look at it for what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I think so what's a, the deal? Look, wait, wait. What's the deal about being successful? Why is that important? Yeah. Well, um, I, I hope I'm not giving any spoilers away, but you know, watching some of your other <laughs> consultations, like um, you know, not, not having to justify your existence. Now look, I, I really yeah. want you to think, forget about the other sessions yeah. for a second. Yeah. And from your point of view. Yeah. Think this through. What's the deal about being successful? Why is that an important thing? Why does it matter? Uh, yeah, it does, it does like, like, I can honestly say like, <laughs> I know you can because because you know like your value system says it shouldn't matter yeah and your awareness of reality says it shouldn't matter and there's this little voice in you <laughs> says oh yes it does you need to be successful look at your dad yeah yeah um so we're not going after the hmm. part of you that really understands the reality of it the, yeah. in the answer to that question mm. so i mean aren't you finding that kind of interesting that you have that lurking in your oh, yeah i mean it's it's definitely lurking there but yeah i don't i mean it probably does rule my life but i like to think it doesn't you know um yeah so let's look at it though whether it rules your rules your life or it doesn't. Yeah. You want to know what the um, clues are? Yeah. The way you measure yourself against others in terms of this record. The way you measure yourself in a subtle way, but still measure yourself against your dad's success. Yeah. And that says that you, the way you are, is not okay. So that success then takes on a meaning to fulfill or to compensate for whatever it is that you happen to think, which is subtle because you kind of managed i mean a lot i would say that a lot of the structure in your life is really structural tension you know versus structural conflict yeah okay yeah 
and you and you built that and, and the thing is you can't quite enjoy it the way you should <laughs> because you're yes. busily talking yourself out of it and and saying it's not good enough yeah 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 is that is that true uh yeah oh i definitely uh but um Uh, I mean, this might be going off topic a bit, but what did you say? This might be a little bit off topic. Go ahead. Um, but I, I do, I do get a a little bit um, uh, you know, getting the music out there. I'd love to get the music out there, basically. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the feedback I've, I've had from people has been already uh, just... What, know, what is, the, the, it is off topic in a sense of what is it, uh, what does that, how does that answer the question about uh, why success is important to you? I right, success. Uh, because, you know, you can get the music out, and you build an audience for it, and from the industry standards, it may not be seen as a success like the big stars. Yeah, yeah. But you put your music out and people appreciate it. And what's wrong with that? Yeah. Oh, that, that's what well, that, that's okay. Now, that's look, right. the question is not about putting your music out and having people like it. Yeah. Who like it? The question really is about the meaning of success to you. Hmm. so like what uh su success um why does it matter at all yeah why does it matter um well it it shouldn't and it yeah, it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> you know it shouldn't that's yeah. the right answer <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how did you describe your father? Uh, well, he, he, I guess, I mean, how he, did he, you describe how your father? Yeah, success, didn't I? Probably huh? success. I've said he's yeah, done big well. success. Your father's a big <laughs> success. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He didn't say, you know, my father's a great guy. My father is, you know, a sweetheart. My father likes to play chess. My father is a very good athlete. My father, you know, is a good uh, father. My father, you know, loves my music. My father hates my music. Da, da, da. My father's a big success. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're asking who I compare with. Yeah, so. <clears throat> yeah, so you compared to your father on the level of success. Yeah, well, I think, it was hard not to uh, growing up with that in that environment, I guess. Yeah. Why? Uh, well, I guess it's always it's it's just there, or, you know. Like his, uh, like I'm not. Yeah, I guess it's just there, you know. Um, in front Did of you. Did your father like, sort of like wake up every morning, come down for breakfast, and say? Before we begin, I just want to tell you what a big success I am. Now let's have breakfast. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Do you notice that you have chosen a very different path than your father did? Yeah. Yep. The hangover is that you, in the path you've chosen, you can't claim the kind of success your father has because it's a very different path and the standards of measurement are quite different. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. How, how come how come success is a standard at all? Mm. I mean, what if you failed? What if your father failed? Mm. What if it turned out that, and I hope it doesn't happen. <laughs> but you know, next week there's some big disaster in your father's industry, and everything goes down the tubes, and they lose the house and everything else. And the next thing you know, he's working, selling shoes in a shoe store. Would you think any less of him? <laughs> no, no. And what's the implication of that? You wouldn't think any less of him. Uh, well, that, yeah, I, I shouldn't do that to myself, is it, or? No, no, I just said, what's the implication of that in terms of your father? If your father had some bad luck and his yeah. success turned into a failure, would it change your yeah. opinion of him? No, no. Because you love him, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and you actually think he's a good guy, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's actually, in reality, a good guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not... <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you see what I mean? There's this kind of thing that, I mean, if your father was a, a uh, movie star and you grew up in the home of a movie star and you did a little bit of community theater, <laughs> you'd be complaining that you weren't a movie star. Mm. Yep. Mm. Do you think you could think this through, you know, this question about success and why it matters to you, why it's important to you? I hope so. Yeah. Go ahead. So, w w why is it important? Why do I think it's important to have success? Is that yeah, the question? Yeah, why does it matter at all? Uh, it, I'm, yeah, I'm comfortable uh without having success yeah would you be comfortable just as comfortable if you happen to have failed not that you'd want to fail but if you happen to fail would that be okay too uh yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> well yeah you might not believe it but uh yeah well I'd... i'm just wondering if you believe it yeah okay well, yeah I think uh, when I was younger, probably not, but not definitely now. Listen, yeah. in this session, yeah, you it's, it's not about you being younger. Yeah, it's yeah. It's about oh, you but, being exactly the age you are right yeah, at right. this very minute. Yeah, I think, yeah, definitely right now. Yeah, yeah. So in this session, you've already um, revealed the way you measure yourself against your father, against um, other uh, musicians yeah yeah um what do you make of that um well i guess yeah i mean there's obviously some comparison going on but why? Uh, um, well, yeah, it's probably like a, a feeling of not being good enough, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, like, well, don't shy. Listen, don't shy away from that. And yeah. just because you've seen other sessions, and you may have. Um, a similar thing going on. Uh, take take a look at it in light of day. You, you know, without trying to impose it on yourself, but I'm just describing, you know, what the evidence is. Yeah. That there does definitely seems like, you know, it's interesting because you mostly you created a wonderful life for yourself. Yeah. And 
the the bit that's what I said before is the this kind of little thing that makes it um, less enjoyable for you is not the life you created, but the meaning you give it in relationship to the way you compare it to others. Mm. Yes. Mm. Well, yeah, I just have to drop the comparisons. <laughs> no, that's a behavior, not an underlying structure. Yeah. So when you were growing up, and your dad was so successful. Did you feel like you weren't enough? Uh, not not as a not as a kid. No, no. Uh, probably like those years where I was um, still choosing what um, direction you wanted to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you know, after I'd finished school and and started going to university, that kind of. Mm -hmm. Those years, probably, yeah. Mm. Mm. But I don't, I don't regret the path I've gone down at all. Yeah, you shouldn't. No, you got a great <laughs> life. Yeah, no, I, I, I love my life. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. That you know, it's not, it's not. A uh, question of whether you regret the life that you've created for yourself. It's a question of the meaning that you place on it or the reservation that you place on it. Maybe a better description of what you're doing. Yeah. And it's almost like you got this holdout. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. So, yeah. what, what, um, when you, I don't know whether it's you're not enough or there might be some other thought there yeah. about your belief about yourself. Um, do you have an ideal of what you should be more of? Or, and don't give me better musician because that's a skill level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's true. Um, I'm heading off all the ways your mind works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i get I, well the more um <laughs> uh -oh. um no i i, I yeah I, i'm happy i'm very happy with like how i am and my life is yeah mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's. Then why would you ever compare yourself to anybody else? Mm. Do you see the discrepancy between? Yeah. And I'm sure you're really happy with how your life is because it's great. Yeah. You know, you, you live a kind of um, lifestyle life. Yeah. Definitely. And the quality of life is really high. And the it's like the level of accomplishment is not the subject matter of your life as it might be for your father or or others the subject matter of your life really is creating this accommodation so when people come they have a wonderful time yeah um that you help people get from point A to point B and enjoying yeah. the the resort the resources of the resort town that you live in. Yeah. Which is and it's a very musical town as well. So that's that's part of it. It's also that's part of the lifestyle. Yeah. But not a, a goal oriented type of accomplishment um, lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah, def yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah, you, I think you've really highlighted, yeah, the great aspects of my life, yeah. You, you see in that lifestyle, there's no 
measurement of success. Like uh, it would yeah. be in a lifestyle in which the major theme is accomplishment. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's not like um, really simple question. I mean, is there anything you actually have to accomplish in your life? No. Mm -hmm. So what are you saying? Um, I guess the difference between like success and maybe just, oh yeah, I'm saying, I guess what you, yeah, you're pointing out that the, my life doesn't, there's no real uh, measurement for uh, achievement in a way yeah um well i mean you achieve things yeah but, but that's in in a funny sort of way that's not the point of it yeah yeah it's definitely yeah more lifestyle hmm. driven yeah i mean to run an accommodation where people really have the right towels and the you know and have the right soap in the room you know all this stuff that you got to do to make it work is mm. definitely an achievement. But the point of that achievement is not on the level of, um, it's like maintaining the standards that you want your guests to have yeah. for them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want you to try out saying this line and see how it plays in your mind. Ready? I do not have to be a great success. Yeah. Go ahead. I do I do not have to be a great success. True or tr true or not true? True. Yeah. And okay. yeah, that, it feels that feels um, liberating. Yeah, because well, it takes a lot of pressure off, I guess. Yeah. Well, be, the, the, because you have this going on in your concept, mm. you know, and it's not Freudian, and it's not, you know, deeply psychological. It's just that you got the wrong impression about your dad. who's um, probably his focus in life is on the level of accomplishment versus lifestyle. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, um, say this a couple of more times um, and I'm gonna change the line a little bit to yeah. I don't have to be a success. Okay, yeah. I don't have to be a success. I don't have to be a success. I don't have to be a success. Is that true? Yeah. Hmm. I guess, yeah, that, that subtle change, it's, um, yeah, it, it's got a different feeling to it as well. Yeah. Hmm. Well, even the way you have thought about the music that you produced, you're pinning on it the job of somehow being a success. Mm. And you know what? That wasn't the reason you made the music. No, no. You made the music so it could exist. Yeah. And now it exists. Mm. And it came, even came out better than you thought originally that it might. Yeah. And you really like it and maybe even love it. Oh, I do. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with success. Hmm. Hmm. 
you know, you created it for its own sake, so it could exist. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, try this out. <laughs> My album does not have to be a success. <laughs> yeah, that's a... <laughs> try it. Go ahead. Give it a try. Yeah. My album does not have to be a success. Is that true or not true? It's, it's true. <laughs> Say it a couple of more times to teach it to yourself. Yeah. To take away that um, idea that you have that the, how good the music is is how successful it is in the world, and that, which is totally not true. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My album does not have to be a success. My album does not have to be a success. True or not true? Uh, true, yeah. You're glad you made it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> thrilled, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um. It's great. I mean, what do you, what do you, what, what's, what's going on with you right now as you're looking at these things? And the thing about it from a structural point of view is, um, the concept was very subtle. Yeah. Okay. And and you so knew all the right answers. <laughs> <laughs> what you were supposed to say. But the but the evidence was all over the the, the map. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of what it was. Yeah. You know, and you you may or may not think that you're enough or not enough. Um, I don't think that's such an important thing. Yeah. It doesn't show up as important. The success matter did show up as very important. Yeah. And so you were kind of imposing this um, synthetic standard on everything you do. Which it, it, which is not um, consistent with what you actually want. Mm. It isn't to say you don't want success. Sure, everybody does, but it's not the point of it. You didn't make the album to be successful. You made huh. the album to make the music. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see how you kind of you mix in that other little bit of motivation? And it really is the fly in the ointment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are what are things looking like um, in your life right now, having us having had this discussion? Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I don't have to stress about um, not stress. I don't really have a, a lot of stress. Um, I don't have have the pressure of you know, do you feel that now physically? Even? Yeah, it, I, I do. Yeah, it feels. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I feel more like an artist, I guess. Yeah. Um, mm. <laughs> with you know, not not so concerned about. Um, well, are you, are you concerned at all? No, no, no. Well, then yeah. why not say so concerned? Why not, which is a comparative term? Yeah. Why not, I'm, I'm, why not get right down to it? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. I, I'm more, I feel like an artist who's in the, like say I'm, I'm painting rather than even caring about, you know, what anyone else or how it comes out kind of. Yeah, thing. because the, the reason you're mm. doing it is to live up to your vision of it. Mm. And some people like it, some people won't. Yeah. You know, that's that's their business, not yours. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, I definitely feel a lot. I can feel physically, I feel more relaxed and I feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel free? Uh, yeah. It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the perfect uh, 
went for it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're through. I mean, do you have any other uh, questions or anything? Uh, no, like, um, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let me describe what I think your life looks like right now and you tell me whether it's true or not. So you're gonna continue on in the accommodations and the driving and you'll decide later after you get a bit of a rest if you wanna do more music. Mm. Um, you 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 got the album and you'll do whatever you can with it and build an audience. It doesn't matter whether it's successful or not. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you're so-called successful or not, whatever that even means. Mm. And you'll continue and appreciate now in more maybe more than ever what you created in your life. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that, you've nailed it. Yeah, great. Mm. Um, can you describe what it was like uh, going through this process with me for people who are watching? What was it like being structurally consulting? Uh, I guess, because I had seen some of the other videos, I, I thought it would go a certain way, but I guess, you know, it went a different direction in mm -hmm. some ways. Um, and, but uh, it's definitely things I couldn't see myself. Um, mm -hmm. uh, too close to the bark on the tree. Well, when, you, when you're in a structure, it's hard to see the structure you're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, You know, at some level, I think I, I, I was conscious of this structure, but I didn't know it was like, it was really there, you know, mm. and I can see now going through this process that it was, it is there, you know, was there. Mm. So, um, mm. and it's, yeah, just great to realize that. Yeah. Well, thanks for being my client. I'm going to stop the recording and then say goodbye to you uh, once yep. it's stopped.